At Draw.io, we believe visualization through diagrams can be, well, life-changing. So come with me today as we learn how the simple yet indispensable driver diagram helps you navigate through the complexities of process planning. As a practical example, we've chosen the role of medical administrators in healthcare planning. A driver diagram is a visual tool used to identify and understand the factors that contribute to a specific goal. These diagrams are often used in healthcare to pinpoint the key factors that contribute to patient satisfaction, quality of care, or cost reduction. Let's say a medical administrator, such as a director of clinical operations, wants to reduce patient wait times in the emergency department. What needs to change to achieve this goal? Well, these are the primary drivers, the main factors or focus areas that have a direct impact on the achievement of the goal. Now, since these are the cause of this outcome, the connectors of a driver diagram actually begin at the rightmost shape. Add a personal touch to your connectors by softening their angles or remove the angles entirely through the waypoints dropdown. Next, our admin needs to ask how. How do they plan to make progress towards the primary drivers? That's the question that's answered with secondary drivers. By utilizing both fixed and floating connectors, as the diagram grows and drivers are moved around to accommodate, the connections between primary and secondary drivers remain clean and easy to read. In some cases, a driver diagram may even extend one or more levels to further break things down. Each change idea is a specific action that helps achieve the secondary driver, and in turn, the primary goal. And something to keep in mind here is balance is key. Having too many levels can make things messy and hard to grasp. Strive for enough detail to act on while keeping your diagram clear and user-friendly. Now that you have a basic understanding of driver diagrams, you can go ahead and start using them to improve your own processes. Thank you for watching, and if you ever have any questions on how to use or create a driver diagram, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest tips on enhancing your workflow through visualization with Draw.io. We'll see you later.